1943, the BBC correspondent Winford Vaughan Thomas and his engineer made one of the most famous audio recordings of the Second World War. Joining the crew of a Lancaster bomber on a raid over Berlin, they detailed the drama of flying at night over occupied Europe to attack the Nazi capital. Now, using virtual reality, it's possible to experience the mission visually as well, as Robert Hall now explains. This is the story of Lancaster F. Freddy, a famous wartime broadcast and a blend of history and technology which can take all of us into the dangerous skies above Germany. Among those preparing for takeoff on the evening of September the 3rd, 1943, were two civilians. BBC correspondent Winford Vaughan Thomas and his engineer Reg Pidsley joined F. Freddy's crew to record their bombing mission over Berlin. Is it okay now? Yes, cutting. This is the disc recording equipment that would have been used, a BBC Type uh, C. The cutter head actually cut a groove into that disc recording the, the sound. Reg Pidsley, the recording engineer, had to keep the blank discs inside his flying jacket to make sure that they were warm enough to cut. They've left that other bomber and they're moving now slowly towards the feeling for the... I was just aware of this fantastic piece of recording that Winfred Vaughan Thomas had done in 1943 and having worked with VR I could see it was potentially a really, really good fit. They seem to spray out at first like the tentacles of an octopus waiting to catch off. Because the audio is, tr is an actual recording of what happened. It just makes the CGI just undeniably kind of real. Hello, Bombardier. Okay when you are. F. Freddy's bomb aimer was Bill Bray. He never told his granddaughter about his wartime service. Hello, Skipper. Will you turn on to 081? Right, 081, navigator. Don't all speak at once now, please, but it's okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what did you think? I thought it was incredible. It was amazing. Yeah. It's just surreal listening because we've heard the audio before so many times, but actually to sit, hear the audio alongside everything that they would have experienced that evening was emotional and incredible. There it goes. Our first sight of England. Just a little light from a beacon flashing up to us from the darkness below. I've known this story all my life, of fathers being in the Lancaster, but to be there and to see it and to experience it and to just see how brave all those young, young men were. Robert Hall, BBC News.